the candidates will have an opportunity to make a closing statement. So, President Bush, I think you said it earlier, let's get it on. Let's go. <laughs> and I think the first question is over here. Yes, I'd like to direct my question to Mr. Perot. Uh, what will you do as president to open foreign markets to fair competition from American business and to stop unfair competition here at home from foreign countries so that we can bring jobs back to the United States? That's right at the top of my agenda. We've shipped millions of jobs overseas, and uh, we have a strange situation because we have a process in Washington where after you've served for a while, you cash in, become a foreign lobbyist, make $30,000 a month, then take a leave, work on presidential campaigns, make sure you've got good contacts, and then go back out. Now, if you just want to get down to brass tax, first thing you ought to do is get all these folks who've got these one-way trade agreements that we've negotiated over the years, and say, fellas, we'll take the same deal we gave you. And they'll gridlock right at that point, because for example, we've got international competitors who simply could not unload their cars off the ships if they had to comply. You see, if it was a two-way street, just couldn't do it. We have got to stop sending jobs overseas. To those of you in the audience who are business people, pretty simple. If you're paying $12, $13, $14 an hour for factory workers, and you can move your factory south of the border, pay a dollar an hour for labor, hire a young 25, that's assume you've been in business for a long time, you've got a mature workforce. Pay a dollar an hour for your labor, have no health care, that's the most expensive single element, making a car, have no environmental controls, no pollution controls, and no retirement, and you don't care about anything but making money, there will be a giant sucking sound going south. So we, if, if the people send me to Washington, the first thing I'll do is study that 2,000-page agreement and make sure it's a two-way street. I, one last point here. I've called, I decided I was dumb and didn't understand it, so I called a who's who of the folks who've been around it. And I said, why won't everybody go south? They said, we'll be disruptive. I said, for how long? I finally got them up for 12 to 15 years. And I said, well, how does it stop being disruptive? And that is when their jobs come up from a dollar an hour to six dollars an hour and ours go down to six dollars an hour, then it's leveled again. But in the meantime, you've wrecked the country with these kinds of deals. We've got to cut it out. Thank you, Mr. Perot. I see that the president... There will be a giant sucking sound going south. <laughs>